Time now for the dish. Yes, have you ever tried to make fudge? Have you? No, you? Never. Guess it what? looks difficult, but and while delicious, it can be tedious and time consuming, I hear. Well, what if we told you you can make it in just five minutes with three simple ingredients? It's a magical little confectionery hack, courtesy of the Hard Rock Atlantic City's executive pastry chef, Thaddeus Dubois, who, mm. by the way, was also once the executive pastry chef at the White House. It's a family recipe that my father, um, I don't know where he got it, he never actually told me, um, but he gave it to me when I was 10 years old. His name's Robert Charles Dubois, so I call it RCD fudge. This is a very easy fudge, it only has three ingredients. You don't have to cook any sugar, you only need a mixer. All right, Dad, this one's for you. So we have eight ounces of cream cheese, eight ounces of powdered sugar, and eight ounces of melted chocolate, and that's it. So what goes in first? Okay, so we'll put the powdered sugar in. I usually put that in first, so then when we go to put the cream cheese in, it won't stick to the bowl as much. Yes, cream cheese to simulate the creamy texture without any cooking. Start slow, then speed it up till it's smooth. It takes like a minute and it'll be ready to go. There can't be anything much easier than this. You can see it's like icing now. Oh yeah, it does look like icing. And then if you want to you want to do the honors? Yes. Mix in warm melted chocolate by hand. You can use like candy bars. Oh. You know, this is couverture and that's a technical, another, I'm sorry, mm. pastry chefs have lots of technical terms. This is couverture, <laughs> meaning it's it's like couture chocolate, right? It's, yes, you know, it's like yeah, it, it means a certain fat content um, and it's actually a European term. Now, just scoop it all out. So this is just like acetate. You could use parchment paper. Or, you know, or baking paper. Yes, and get rolling to create that log shape. We would refrigerate that for a few hours, maybe overnight is fine. Then, before you decorate, let it sit out for a bit. You need to soften it, so let it bring it out at room temperature so it kind of gets tacky. Okay. We want to roll it in some vermicelli here. Is that a sprinkle? What is that? It's, yes, you could roll it in nuts. We also, we have um, candy cane, crushed candy oh, cane here. That. You can roll that in. Once you're done adorning, pop it back in the fridge so it's easier to slice and to serve. Good. Cheers. The RCD fudge. To dad. To dad. I can't believe how fast this was, and I cannot believe this is cream cheese. Unbelievable. Mm. Mm. Cream cheese. Cream cheese and chocolate. I'm you had me. And it was good. so simple. And here's the pro tip. If the toppings won't stick, that means it's too cold. So mm. once it comes out in the fridge, it has to stay out just enough so it's it's tacky enough to pick up whatever you want to roll it in. I like the idea of rolling it in candy cane like mm -hmm. crumbles. So mm. nice. Yum.